Here they come, here they come, Greg. Hi, I'm Maddie. I'm Greg, and with Christmas just around the corner, we've come to the Portland Reserve to give some of the residents of the Wild Animal Park some Christmas presents. All set? Yeah. All right, we are gonna go out into the gorillas' outdoor play area. It's perfectly safe to do so because they are inside, the doors are locked right now. Where should we put the presents? Right, so we've heard that the gorillas are particularly fond of this rockery in front of us, so I think we should scatter the presents on the rocks. Good plan, let's go for it. Portland Reserve is looked after by the Aspinall Foundation. Uh, they are all about conservation. So their biggest aim is to breed and then release some of the world's most critically endangered animals back into the wild. Yeah, in fact, in just the last few years, Portland Reserve have bred and successfully returned over 60 Western Lowland gorillas to the Congo and Gabon, which are countries in Africa. Yeah. However, whilst the animals are here, they're treated to the very best care, brilliantly designed enclosures, and what's more, Port Lim are experts in something called enrichment, which is a technique used by the keepers to keep the animals happy, healthy and stimulated. And this could be anything from a simple puzzle feeder that will challenge their minds as they search for food, maybe some fresh herbs to heighten their sense of smell, or even a cardboard box wrapped in Christmas paper. And that's exactly what we prepared earlier. But what should go inside them? Let's ask Zookeeper Phil. We've got some Kongs here, they're rubber toys, and we're going to fill them with treats. So what should we put inside them? Um, well, as they got a hole at that end, yep. we're going to put some seeds in. All the seeds will fall out if we're not careful. So we'll put some nuts in first, okay. then seeds, and then a nice big wa uh, walnut on the top, sort of coming back out this end too easily. And the gorillas, they'll enjoy trying to like get those out, will they? Yeah, yeah, the idea is they've got to make this a bit more of an effort to get the things out. Okay. They'll make it too easy for them. Yeah, let's make it difficult. All right, let's go. The Kongs full of nuts and seeds go inside the boxes surrounded by straw, just to give the gorillas something extra to play with. And it's worth saying that we're not using sticky tape, just a paste made out of water and flour, so the gifts are completely harmless. It's gorilla Christmas time! Right. Perfect. Santa goes down a chimney, Greg goes up a climbing frame. Okay, so there you are. The Christmas presents are all set. We're now going to let the gorillas in and see what they think. Here they come. Here they come, Greg. Here they come. Oh, look, the silverback. The silverback. Silverback's back. going straight for it. <gasps> one's going. One's going. Yes. We've got one. Merry <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> this is so exciting. <laughs> Get up my present. Hey! <laughs> oh, oh, over here on the top one. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Silverback just put it on his head. <laughs> oh, here comes the little one. I didn't realise there was a little one. I think it's fair to say they like their Christmas presents. <laughs> it's fascinating seeing them open up the boxes and then exploring for the toys. So not only is this fun for them, but it's also challenging their brains as well, which is fantastic. What I love as well is that because they've now learned that there's one in there, they then looked at all the, the hay that's on the floor yeah. and kind of went to start getting involved in that to mm -hmm. see if they could also find any more that might have fallen in. Yeah, and we're seeing a bit of natural behaviour as well because we're seeing them be competitive <laughs> with each other and also protecting their own treats. And how cute is the baby? So there you go, Christmas came early for these gorillas and they seem pretty happy about yeah, it. Yeah, they do. What a fantastic day here at Portland Reserve. Um, we've also spent another day with the rhinos. Mm -hmm. uh, it involved mucking them out. Yeah. It was gross. <laughs> <laughs> so you can click on that afterwards. For more videos, make sure you subscribe, stay curious, and we'll see you soon. Bye.